Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Kenny and in today's video, I'll be giving you guys my two cents on the Chanel 22 bag and why is this bag breaking? Virginie, honey, can you give me a call? I mean, Carl is actually shaking in his grave right now. Yeah, <laughs> that's fashion for you guys. <laughs> um, so if you wanted to know more about this, please continue watching the video. But before this, um, this is Kenny and I do a lot of luxury videos. Um, I would like for you to consider subscribing to the channel by hitting that subscribe button and the bell button to notify you of all the videos that I do make. So, Chanel's newest bag, the Chanel 22. Um, to me, this bag is quite chic, very nonchalant, very simple understated bag um, in terms of the Chanel bags that we have seen, like the logos and <clears throat> the flap bags. This bag is quite simple. I have seen it in person. It has that really like chic street style appeal. But this bag has come with some issues. So <clears throat> I have seen a video from Romina Rose and um, Fashionably Amy. The corners of the bag are breaking or cracking. So this is kind of similar similar like mechanism or style to that bag. This is the Oroton. Lilia bag but that has a different like mechanism to it I just don't have a Chanel 22 but pretty much the Chanel 22 is like a drawstring bag there's like two different um, straps one on the front and one on the back uh, of the bag so I'll just grab a dust bag from Oroton so basically what happens with the 22 bag, there's like two straps that are thread through this bit there, so front and the back. So <clears throat> there has been cracking on the leather bit here where it has been folded over. And that was an issue for Romina and Amy. And I can see why this is becoming an issue. First of all, like Romina Rose's one is a metallic purple 22 bag and I've known because I have restored some bags in like before, the higher the gloss of the bag, the more it becomes quite hardy and stiff. And so if you constantly move the bag, that certain bag might crack. So it is more prone to cracking than like a lesser gloss or a matte finish leather but then again amy's one her 22 bag is a i think it's a lamb lambskin black 22 bag hers has been cracking too on the same spot right so i'm just editing the video and i recently just watched rumina's newest um video about her 22 bag so Actually, the cracking issue is a little bit different on Romina's and Amy's one. So we'll focus on Romina's one first. So Romina's one, her 22 bag is a metallic a purple 22 bag. So hers is a little bit crinkled in terms of the leather. And so <clears throat> as I have mentioned, the higher the gloss of the leather, it becomes quite stiff on the surface because there's a lot of top coat that has been applied to it and so if you constantly move the bag you might find that the surface is cracking and you might find some lightening of the color which reveals the really like original color of the leather and i think that's what's happening to romina's one so in amy's case hers is like a very smooth kind of a lambskin material on her 22 bag her issue was that uh, just as a reference that bit there is cracking where the straps are rubbing against when it's being worn so this is two different cases um, Romina's one her issue is mainly on the leather but then um, Amy's one is the like functionality and <clears throat> the design um, of the 22 bag so I would say still the issue is mostly on the design and of the 22 bag but uh, 
I just can't say for sure for any other 22 bag. So that's just my two cents. Yeah. <laughs> so I can only like infer or conclude that the main issue of this bag is because it doesn't have a reinforcement to it. So <clears throat> basically this bag is a tote bag. It should carry quite a bit of weight to it. And so I, they could have put something on the grommet or where the straps thread through. So on my Oroton bag, there's like a reinforcement here with a leather grommet, basically. And I'm not actually sure why they haven't thought of putting a grommet through it. Maybe because of the look. They're trying to make the bag like with less bells and whistles. So, I mean, on the flat bags, you'll see that there's a lot of grommets on there. But for this kind of a flimsy bag that will take on a bit of weight, um, they could have put something there. I mean, this bag too, like it's a little bit flimsy and this like grommet helps hold up the weight of the bag. Imagine this bag, like a flap bag like this, quite flimsy and don't give it a grommet. What's gonna happen? This leather will break for sure. So basically that's what I think is happening on the Chanel 22 bags. I know a lot of people don't have problems with them. But I'm guessing in the future, this will absolutely happen. So I'm just saying that just be careful. Um, I wish Chanel rectifies this um, design issue or design flaw um, because I'm sure this is going to bite them back in the future. Um, it's actually biting them back now, so they might as well should do something about it. But I just don't like the attitude of the Chanel essays. Like Romina's essay was like, oh, my bag is like having an issue and da 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 da. And the essay says like, oh, your bag is like a metallic bag. That's actually quite expected. But honey, that's pretty much a brand new bag. It shouldn't be cracking like that, right? So yeah, oh my gosh. Virginie, honey, can you give me a call? I mean, Carl is actually shaking in his grave right now if this issue doesn't get fixed. Right. <laughs> anyway, I need a coffee. Need a sip of coffee. Oh my god. The tea. The coffee. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I just want to give you guys my two cents on this issue. But yeah. Um, let me know what you think about this issue of the 22 bag. Do you actually like the bag or is it just looks like a rubbish bit, like a rubbish bag? But actually, Balenciaga actually literally released a rubbish bag. Insert mind blown emoji. And they're asking for at least $2,000 on it. But yeah, <laughs> that's fashion for you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!